Welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of our C Sharp tutorial. I am your host Jitendra and today we are going to deep dive into mystery of value and reference type in C Sharp. But before we get started, make sure to follow me on my social media for updates and tips. You can find me on LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Instagram and Facebook. The links are given on the screen. If you are new to, uh, new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Also click on notification bell to get our latest update. Alright, let's jump right in and explore value and reference type in C Sharp. In today's episode, first we will answer the question what is a value type. Then we will move on to answer the question what is reference type. Along with this we will see passing arguments by value by reference and at the end we will see the demo of the uh, the, the topic where we will, be, we will be passing the arguments by value and by uh, the reference. So let's start. So let's see what is value type. Value types are stored in the program execution stack and directly contain their values. So when you are you when you are initializing any value any any data type as a value type, then it is stored in the program execution stack. And the and the actual value is getting stored in the memory. Value types are primitive numeric types, the character types, and the boolean types. The memory allocated for them is released when the program exists their scope. So when you define any uh, primitive numeric type or n characters or boolean, then those are the primitive. Uh, those are the value type. Uh, variables and the memory of those is get allocated uh, get released when your pro loop is exist so if you are defined within some within a class that object that value well variable then the memory will get released as soon as you release your, your scope is uh, finished or your scope is exist the examples of uh, uh, value types are bool bytes character decimal double enum float integer long s byte short struct uint u long so these are the few example of a uh, value types so basically remember that primitive uh, numeric types character types or boolean types all are uh, value types uh, okay and their values are directly stored in the memory Now let's see what is reference types. Reference types keeps a reference or an address in the program execution stack and that reference points to the dynamic memory that is called as a heap where their value is stored. So in the reference type there are basically two kind of a memories in the uh, uh, say the picture. First is your uh, execution stack. okay. And the another is the called as a dynamic memory or you call it as a heap. Okay. So in case of reference type, what happens is uh, the in the stack, in the pro program execution stack, it's only the reference or you can call as the address is stored in that memory. Okay. But where the actual value is stored, that value is stored in the dynamic memory that is called as a heap. Okay. And that address is pointed to the heap. So it is telling you that they say there will might be one variable. Okay, so where the value you, you can find? So the your program execution stack will tell you its address where it is stored in the heap. Okay. The reference is a pointer, address of the memory cell indicating the actual location of the value in the heap. Okay, so the reference or address is actually a pointer which tells you where the exact the value of that is stored in the heap. It allocates dynamic memory for their creation and releases some dynamic memory for a memory clearing. So how does memory work? So you see in the value that the memory is, memory is released when 
the execution scope is released okay it is finished in this case what happens is in the reference type when you initialize the value it assigns you the uh, dynamic memory okay when you create an uh, 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 the reference type it will assign a memory and then uh, it releases okay some dynamic memory uh, for a memory cleaning okay and then that memory cleaning is uh, by the garbage collector that we will see in different video what is garbage uh, garbage collector since the allocation and release of memory is a slow operation here you will see the there you have to do a, a here you are allocating also a memory dynamic memory and uh, uh, releasing of a memory we are releasing of a memory both are slow operation so you can say that uh, the uh, uh, well well uh, the reference type is slower than the value type so example of a uh, reference types are classes arrays and interfaces like objects string or bytes passing and arguments by value type and reference type for this we have to uh, see the code okay i will just explain the code and then we will go into the visual studio so uh, we have a class and it has a property as a int value here okay and then you have uh, uh, another sorry first of all you have created a struct which will have a value class a is by struct and you have uh, created the uh, pro value uh, as a val okay and then you have a sample class okay uh, this is a console application so we are using the static wide main uh, uh, method here what we are doing uh, done in this class is there are two methods we have created okay one is the value type by value so this is basically uh, we are calling we are passing the argument into this variable so this method as by value okay and here we are changing the value of the object whereas there is another method which we have uh, created value type by reference here if you see here a ref keyword so here what we are trying to do is we are passing an argument by reference type okay and here also what we are doing is uh, changing the value uh, to uh, the uh, 100 so initial value if you see here is a 10 then this method we are calling type by value we'll see what will be the value in this case then we are passing the value as a reference you see the reference key so reference key is used when you want to pass an argument by reference type and then we will see what is the value type by the reference once this method is uh, called so we'll go into the visual studio and we'll see how uh, what result we are getting So, okay so this is my visual studio code uh, here what i have created is a class struct uh, here class name i named it as a class a you can and it has a, 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 a property called val okay and it's an integer property now in my uh, now in my class sample i have created two methods you see here one is a value type by value and then there is a value type by reference and i'm calling those in the main class i initialize i have initialized the value as a 10 and then in the method i am making it as a 100 okay and then after calling that method we will see what is the value after calling the corresponding method so i will just click on a start button i will see we will see what results it's give okay so if you see the console output what it is saying is pass value type by value is 10 so after calling this value type by value so basically when you pass the value uh, pass the argument to the method by value then the value even though you are changing the value in that method in the original call after the original call or in the after after the this method call in uh, original class that value remains the same what we have assigned first so line number 19 we have assigned is v1 dot value as a 10 even though it is changing as the, uh, the line number 29 object value is equal to 100 this value is not getting changed remember the scope of a value types are within this within that 
project when the project get executed so where it is defined that will be the their uh, scope so here we, even though you are changing the value the value is not getting changed it is remain the same whereas the second uh, method where we are passing the value as a reference type so if you see ref v1 and we are passing this method ref class a object here we are making a change as a hundred and after coming back to the method you will see the value is also changed so it is changed as a hundred so this is very important concept whenever this is a basic concept but it's very important whenever you are writing the logic you need to understand that what is happening there if you are passing the value uh, passing the argument by value then whatever whatever operation which you are doing on that uh, value or that object uh, okay or that uh, variable it will be within that method only once you come back the value there it will remain the same what it was before for the value type but if you are doing it by reference then whatever operation which you are doing in that method that will get applied to the the that uh, variable and once you come back to the uh, the initial or original class then that value will also get changed okay so this is how it will be changing so this is why this is very important concept whenever you are writing the logic understand how to pass your uh, arguments to the method. okay and now i come back to the slide again so you you have seen the result of this uh, program that pa after passing the value what happens and uh, after passing the uh, very argument as a reference what happens so pass by value means passing a copy of the variable to the method so when you are pass you are passing the value pass by value i mean you are passing the argument by value then it is like you are making a copy of the variable and giving it to the method pass by reference means passing access to the variable to the method so pass by reference means you are allowing you are allowing or giving a permission to that method to ch make a changes on the variable a variable of a reference type contains a reference of its data and variable of a value type contains its data directly and that's a wrap for today today's episode thank you so much for tuning in and joining us on this journey through c sharp your support means a lot to me if you found this video informative then please hit the like button and share it with your fellow developers and friends if you are not already subscribed then consider hitting the subscribe button uh, and ensures that you won't miss any of uh, future videos by clicking on the notification bell next time we will we will be exploring different operators in c sharp so once again thank you for being a part of the community keep supporting thank you